We will explore forces on an inclined plane with the help of this example. I have given you this example earlier when I was introducing the topic and along with the answer as shown here. Uh, I hope most of you must have got the answer. If not, look into this suggestion. A 20 kilogram object is at rest on an inclined plane that makes an angle of 25 degrees with the horizontal. Find the minimal magnitude of frictional force. Let's try to understand this. So we have an inclined plane, so this is the horizontal and it makes an angle of 25 degrees, correct? So that is the inclined plane we're talking about. It is 25 degrees with the horizontal. Now it says that it has an object of 20 kilograms here. So this is, let us say, an object of 20 kilograms here. Now this object will actually slide down the inclined plane, correct? The question is, a 20 kilogram object is at rest on an inclined plane that makes an angle of 25 degrees with the horizontal. Now if it is at rest, there must be some force which is keeping it at rest, right? So that force is actually a frictional force, right? find the minimal magnitude of frictional force. So that force is the frictional force which keeps it at rest. How much is that equivalent to? That is the question. Now, as we understand, the object here has a mass and the mass is given to us as 20 kilograms. Now this mass exerts a downward force and the force will be 20 times 9.8 Newton. So that is the force which this mass is going to exert in the downward direction. Now because of this force which is acting on this object, the body should move. But it is not moving since there is an equivalent opposite force there which is keeping the system in equilibrium, right? Now let's work out how much that force is. To find that, we need to resolve this force into its components. So we'll resolve this force into two components, one which is trying to push it downwards right? and the one which is pushing at the surface. Right? Now if this angle is 25, then this angle is also 25 degrees. Now as you can see from here, we can complete our vector diagram which says this is one force, do you see that one force? And that is the other force. So the combination of these two forces should be equal to 20 times 9.8. So let me draw them separately here. So what I'm trying to show here is that is the downward force. And this actually is exerting a force which is normal to the surface, which is kind of here, right? And along the surface downwards like this. So these are the two forces it can be resolved into, right? So we have a force which is 20 times 9.8. So let me multiply 20 times 9.8 and we get a value of 196. So this force in this direction is 196 newtons, right? Now we need to find what is the component along the plane. So component along the plane is this angle which we have here is 25 degrees. Now this is opposite side and that is 90 degrees, right? So we have taken this normal to the surface. That means it is at 90 degrees to the surface. Now if this is at 90 degrees, then that force, which is sliding force or the downward force is sine theta, right? It is opposite to this side, right? So we have sine of 25 is equals to, let me call this force as FD, the downward force, right? So sine of 25 is equals to the magnitude of force FD over the hypotenuse, which is 196, correct? And therefore, this downward force, which is, which should slide the object, is actually equals to 196 times sine of 25 degrees, right? So let's use calculator to calculate this answer. It gives 196 times sine of 25 degrees. 
we get 82.83 so let me write this as 82.8 newton so that is the magnitude of force correct now because of this force the object should slide along the slope but it is not since there is a frictional force which is acting in the opposite direction let's call this as f of f so frictional force f f should be equal to the magnitude of friction force let us say should be equal to the magnitude of downward force to keep it in place and it should be in opposite direction do you see that now the magnitude should be equals to 82.8 newtons since the downward force is 82.8 newtons right and as you can see from here the downward force make an angle of 25 degrees with the horizontal so this one will make the angle 180 minus 2 is in the opposite direction of 25 degrees correct so that is how we are going to solve this question do you see that so i hope you understand now the state of equilibrium is achieved if we have all the forces acting at a point and the sum is zero right so if we add these two forces, since they are in the opposite direction, they will add up to zero, right? So their magnitudes are same and the direction is opposite. So that is how it is, right? So this force is actually acting 25 degrees along the inclined plane, right? As shown here. So the force of friction force has magnitude of 82.8 and it acts as at an angle of 25 degrees with the horizontal right so friction force will be 82.8 newtons and be 25 degrees to the horizontal correct so that is how we can answer this question right or you can sometimes write this is direction east so 25 degrees east from east 25 degrees north so that will be the direction of the frictional force right as seen from here i hope you understand now how to solve inclined plane problems adopt this strategy to solve few more questions which i have here right so you can stop those videos answer and then look into my suggestion that way you'll gain more confidence one important thing which i want to share with you here is first whenever we have 20 kg or mass of 20 kg we need to convert that to force in newtons by multiplying by 9.8 meters per second square. This is the acceleration due to gravity with which the mass of an object is attracted towards the earth, right? So and always acts in the downward direction as we shown here. So keep that in mind and solve similar problems. I hope without any problem. Thank you.